What's going on guys? As promised, I'm going to do a little shooting video on the NAA Companion, the little 22 cap and ball I got. Um, just got set up here on the bench. I just shot another, I'll give you this much guys, another rifle I just picked up. And, uh, oh man, that thing shot great. I'm really tempted to do some video on it, but I only bought one box of shells just to try it out. And uh, shot awesome. Shot really, really good. So we're going to jump into the NAA cap and ball. I'm going to go over briefly how to reload this black powder and uh, I'll just show some, some quick shooting of it. I'm only shooting like maybe 10 feet away because it's not a very accurate gun, but once you feel where the sights are, it's not too bad. Uh, so I'm already set up on the bench, guys. I'm going to hop out of the truck because it's a little windy out, so it might be a little hard to hear me. And uh, we'll get to shooting this. You guys, there's a shot of the pond. It's actually starting to thaw out. Guys really hammered it good here with ice fishing, so I'm not quite sure what's left for trout. But April's coming to do a restock before the kids have their fishing derby. So we'll be doing some trout fishing before you know it. All right, let's head back over to the bench where I'm all set up. Got everything deployed. I got the whole range to myself, as you can see. My target nice and close. With my rifle, I was shooting that bowling pin out there at 100 yards. I jostled it around a couple times, open sight. All right, I don't have a tripod, so I'm gonna see how the hell I'm gonna situate this, but let's see. I'm gonna put my two cylinders right here because I'm gonna load these up. All right, black powder. You Obviously you need powder, you need primers, and you need your bullet. So those are the main three components when you're doing black powder and any kind of reloading. So what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna open this up. There's a little, scoop that comes with my kit it's already pre-measured let me pop that out hang on one second guys i'm gonna put this camera down and see if i could see if i could do this with you guys watching uh, i don't know where the heck my scoop went now oh, i think i leave it inside here yeah all right my scoop's inside my powder container show you what this looks like quick all this is is a pre-measured scoop you fill it flush to that and then you pour it in each cylinder so let me get it nice and tight here like I said guys I don't have a tripod so we're gonna do this as best we can so what I'm gonna do is do a nice level scoop all right it's a little windy out here so I'm probably gonna lose some powder while I'm pouring this in it's really windy Actually, let me put this bag behind me. Block the wind a little bit. It's friggin' windy. Today is not a good day for black powder. Alright, no problem. I got it in there. There's one cylinder. And I usually rotate them. I, I can, you can look in it to see which one's what, but I just rotate it. It makes it easier. So I know this is my next cylinder I'm putting powder in. Now off to the third one. It's not too bad. Without a funnel, I got it down pretty good. I load this thing up enough times. Okay, last cylinder. Before you do it, you can double check by looking in. You'll see right through. If you got powder in it, you won't see any daylight. So, we'll put that one aside. We'll go to the next one. I'm going to load this one up, guys, and then we'll come back. All right, guys, I already put one cylinder in the firearm. That one's ready to go. I got the other one already with the bullets in it, so you don't have to worry about the powder falling out. So now this is the tedious part, guys. You're going to take this little tiny cap out of the package here, and you got to set them over each, over each nipple, and just press them down with your finger. And in this particular one, they sit flush. But I have a cap around order. This will go a lot faster. This is so tedious to do by hand, especially if you've got big fingers. I'm short, but I got chubby little fingers, and it, it's tough. But I ordered a capper, and what the capper does, it's a holder for this. And you just put it over the top, and you'll be able to boom, 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 put them right on. But that's basically what it's going to look like. So I'm going to get this finished up. I'm going to take the first cylinder and get the thing sighted in, and then I'll show you guys how it shoots.
Sorry about that, guys. But you get the general idea. It's not that bad of a shooter. You got to be up pretty darn close. All right, guys, we're inside where it's not so windy. Hopefully, you can hear me a little bit better. I'm pretty happy with the way it performs. Sorry about the target blowing over like that. I wasn't, uh, I wasn't prepared for that. It wasn't on there too good. But it, as you can see, the grouping on there, it doesn't shoot bad. I had the target only about 10 feet away. I'm still getting used to the sights. I think once I dial it in and get pretty proficient at it, I think it's going to be a pretty good little shooter. But, I mean, if it was a stress situation, I mean, those were all center mass shots, so it would get the job done if you had to. But that's not why I have it. I enjoy shooting cap and ball, and I think it's a fun little gun. And we're going to do some more range videos on it once I get a little more proficient at it. Um, the only complaint I have on the whole firearm is when you take the cylinder out, the pin, it, it tends to get sticky with powder. So what I do is when I pull it out, I tend to wipe it down and put a little lube on it and put it back in so it comes out freely. If not, it'll, it'll hang up. But that's the only complaint so far on the firearm. Other than that, it's been performing flawlessly. And like I said, we're going to do some more range video on it for sure. And, you know, we'll, we'll go over it again, definitely. So if you guys any, got any questions or comments on the NAA Companion Cap and Ball, leave them below. As always, thanks for watching The Total Outdoors with the Yankee Cowboy.